we're going to have another great full day here in the valley. But if we have a warm up up ahead for this week. We're going to be seasonably cool today. But take a look. We maybe have gotten lost a little in translation when we're talking about fall. Average temperature for this time of year, 58 degrees. But we're seeing that really for today, 56, 62 for tomorrow. So really not far off there. But as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, low to mid 70s, kind of crazy there. But we will be dropping down a little bit by the time we're getting into next weekend. So we'll get more seasonable for the next weekend. But those 70s are going to get a little bit warm. We're going to see this warm front move in and then we're going to see this cold front bring our temperatures back down. But we are going to see a little bit of rain, though, for come Halloween. So it is going to be unfortunately rainy for trick or treaters out there. But we will see those cooler temperatures today. But our lows for Wednesday and Thursday in the upper 50s. So our temperatures actually are high today, cooler than what our lows are going to be come Halloween. So we'll take a live look now for our beautiful fall day outside of downtown Warren. Beautiful fall colors. Take advantage. Peak fall colors are really going to be at their best for this weekend. And by next weekend, they're probably going to be starting to fade, falling off the trees. So beautiful fall colors to enjoy here in the valley this weekend, starting to fade by probably next weekend. At best estimate, they're going to then start fading, falling. Definitely get those pictures in and begin enjoying them while you can. And also, great weather for it. Going to be wonderful for it. Temperatures, though, a little bit cool for the start of the day. Temperatures in those upper 20s in some areas, but starting to warm up pretty quickly now that the sun is rising. We're getting to the low 30s in most parts of the valley for your day. Viper radar showing the cloud cover over the last couple of hours has started to move its way out of the area. We're seeing some clearing, especially to the northern part of our viewing area. Down to the south, still seeing that those clouds. But I will say, over the next couple of hours, you're going to see that clearing, mostly clear skies for the remainder of the day, especially into the afternoon. We'll have mostly sunny skies as we go through. That's because we do have this high pressure system keeping us nice and dry. We're going to have that really stick with us over the next couple of days. We'll be mostly sunny for today and tomorrow. Then we're going to be partly sunny for the remainder of the week before we see that rain start to build up. We'll see how that's going to look with Future Tracker. And we'll see how that was going to start building up that moisture. By the time we're going through today, again, mostly sunny skies by your noon lunch hour. Temperatures are going to top off in those mid-50s today. By the time we're getting into the dinner time, temperatures will begin dropping once the sun does come down. 40s, and then we'll get into the 30s overnight. Then we'll see that we'll get into the 30s, and we're going to have a little bit warmer of a day tomorrow. Temperatures will get into the low 60s for your highs. Tomorrow, we'll have maybe a little bit more cloud cover. But this is where we're going to start seeing some of that southerly wind coming out of south. That is where we're going to see some of that warm air really start building. And we're going to start seeing this, especially on Tuesday. Could see a light shower possible, but we're going to see a lot of this warm air start really pushing in on Tuesday. And it's going to, we're going to have maybe 5 to 15 mile an hour winds pushing in. And that's going to bring our temperatures up. This warm front is going to bring these temperatures to the mid-60s and into the 70s. So enjoy the mostly clear and clear skies and mostly sunny skies while you can. The rest of your seven-day forecast is going to look good for the first part of the week. Then if you like that warm weather, 70s are going to look great for you. Tuesday and Wednesday, partly sunny skies, low to mid-70s. Then trick-or-treating, unfortunately, we're going to be dealing with some widespread shower chances. About a 70% chance that could go up, but showers are going to be likely, unfortunately, for Halloween. So keep the rain gear handy and make sure your costumes are waterproof if you're going out trick-or-treating. Those will then begin to taper off by the time we get into Friday morning. Partly sunny skies into the afternoon, and then we'll be back into the mid to upper 50s.